What's going on everybody? It's Robert coming to you from the Best Family Homestead. Aaron's right over there operating the tractor, so I figured I'd film an intro for him. On today's video, this should be pretty exciting. We're gonna be taking down this dangerous widow maker dead pine tree over there that's in the goat fence. So we're about to clean up up here along the fence first to make a good path for us to run out of the danger zone. And then we're gonna drop that tree. So this should be a really fun video. Let's get to it. So, like Robert was saying, we've got that tree that fell a day or two ago. Been rotten. I had a storm blow up and it went down and got stuck up there. So, that is not one that you want to touch a chainsaw to because you don't know which way that tree is going to go, especially with it being rotten. Uh, unfortunately, it is probably going to hit a little bit of fence, but. You can see the billies and nays are mixed up anyway. I've got to uh, do a little fence work and I was planning on moving it so we can start clearing a lot of these pine trees out. So if I ever get this glove on here, there we go. All right. The so first thing we're gonna do is take our cable and some of our pulleys because the plan is that's not gonna to have to be cut. It's all the way through. So we're gonna run a cable around a tree over to another tree through a pulley over to another tree around another pulley so we can put the Kubota back here pull and it's going to pull the tree that way with us being very far away from it and i've got a secret weapon i'll show you guys uh to get all the goats moved to the back that'll give us a little while uh with them being all uh all satisfied so, yeah, I've uh, not been looking forward to this ever since I saw that the other morning. But it's got to be done.
Everything will come down easy, and that's kind of the problem. <laughs> Dang it. Why did I say that? Oh, oh. Let me knock on wood real quick. All right, guys. You're probably in for quite an interesting video because Aaron just went and broke one of mine and Robert's cardinal rules. Yeah, you get on to me all the time. I for do. I stuff do. Like I that. always yell at you about that. And then what did I do? I really just missed a good opportunity to yell at Aaron for saying that too. I, I forgot I got in these uh, here because the way it was sitting without this isn't the best pulley in the world. I need to get some good ones. Unfortunately, good ones are not cheap. But now, there we go. That's what I want. All right, now that pulley will stay sideways. So even without it being a really heavyweight pulley, uh, it'll be fine. The other thing is, you know, using these multiple pulleys, right. it might be a whole lot of weight just to pull straight back on that tree by using a couple pulleys I'm taking a, a load off. Every pulley is going to take a load off of um, to track some of the weight. Pulleys are another very handy thing to have around besides chains and cables. Really kind of a necessity. Put the motor down here. They'll start to pull that way. And I'm hoping that tree comes down and kind of follows that tree and doesn't take all the fence out. Better yet, maybe it'll break off and not hit the fence at all. But since I said, since I said it, since I said it, now I'm expecting uh, mass destruction. <laughs> on the fence the tree's gonna come down easy and the tree heard me the tree's like yep hold my beer watch this This is the secret weapon? Secret weapon. Number 10 sweet feed. They love this stuff, but I don't give it to them very often because it's not real good for them. Man. So you ready to do this? Yeah, I'm cleaning my safety glasses because you know I need some safety equipment. Even though I'm far, far away. Well, I, I don't have any 
safety equipment. You told me to stand right under it to get the best angle. <laughs> no, I told him not to stand right under it, but I know Robert, he's going to try to stand right under it. That's not what he said when the camera was off. He was like, stand right under it so you can film this for me really yeah, good. Yeah, actually, Robert's on double duty. He's a uh, goat guard, which they should be occupied with that sweet feed for a minute, and filming. And we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Might have to readjust the cable once or twice, but... Uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes, especially after somebody said it was going to be a piece of cake. <laughs> I think we got another problem though. I, back away from the cable. I think what you said is already coming true or your curse because one of the uh, ratchet straps came loose. I'll go fix it. Just don't pull it while I'm in there. It'll go easy, he said. Keep coming back or feed the wire back. Got, got it off. I just got to readjust the angles. So I moved the cable from the uh, tree down. On the tree we're trying to pull down. And now I'm gonna tighten this one up so I can try and pick the uh, Cause really all I've got to do is pick the bottom of that tree up out of the dirt. So now it should pull upwards now. Pick that up out of the dirt. All we got to do is get over one more little limb and it's coming down. Hold up. Maybe not, maybe not, there it is.
So the strap started to give up. I was like, hold up. And nope, it, it held. Right, once it was going up. Yeah. That could have... Uh, so, you know what, Aaron? I could have had to build more fence. You know what? That was pretty easy. <laughs> and now, Robert gets to fix this. Ah, oh, I knew I shouldn't have said it. But you know the, the crazy thing is, like, where it mangled up this, uh, Oh, you know, this cattle panel. So you see what this big old tree right here did, you know, kind of bent it up a little bit. It's not much worse than it looks after the billy goats get a hold of that crap. Yeah. You've seen it. Yeah, the billy goats tear this stuff up too. In fact, we got some pretty good example of all that in there. But yeah, got it down, got it down safely without doing, I mean, it really couldn't have fallen. No, I was better. worried it was going to go, like, I don't have to fix all that, just one little spot right there. And like I said, this is all about to get rebuilt anyway. It was all meant to be temporary, like a year temporary. And then the back surgery and stuff, so we back a few years. So, you know, like this part of the fence isn't bad. This is a good fence, but now I've got to start sectioning off some other places. So I can get all this cleared for pasture. And uh, the goats like the woods, but I want to get... Uh, Maybe a couple of sheep and donkey and like I don't have enough animals. Gives, give me some more room to rescue some more animals, but that that worried me. You saw how hard that thing came down. Oh so yeah. If that had there had been a person or anywhere underneath of it. Well everyone, we got our dangerous tree down. One of them. There's not any as bad as that one, but uh, appreciate Robert's help using his uh, goat supervision skills. Newly acquired goat supervision <laughs> skills. <laughs> He's getting good fast though. So appreciate y'all tuning in to the uh, Best Family Homestead. Make sure and go watch Robert's channel, watch your step, and make sure and uh, like, subscribe, and share. And we're gonna be cleaning up the mess we just made a little bit and getting uh, I don't know, getting really, getting right back to work. So I guess we might as well get started. Oh, look, your your uh, gnats are bugging me today. Oh, good. Yeah. yeah. All you, right. You got the orange today. I know, right? <laughs>